We learned many things from Subject 16's glyphs. How deep the assassins and Templars are involved with the history and shaping of the world. And that Jesus Christ used in Shroud of Eden and how the pieces of Eden are able to influence our brains. But would you believe me if I told you that there was an actual apple of Eden on the moon? In the 20th century, the Templars discovered that an apple of Eden was located on the moon, so of course they wanted to get their hands on it. In 1969, 20 July, NASA's Apollo 11 crew landed on the moon's surface. They grabbed the apple of Eden and went back home. The location of the apple is currently unknown. So how did this apple of Eden land on the moon you might ask me? And there is an answer for that. In the Grand Temple of the Modern Day Era, the first civilization member Juno explained to us all the methods they tested and tried to save the world, and why it always failed. In the third method, Juno explains that if enough subjects believed in one thing or one idea or one thought, it will take shape. A small group could create a tree. So what will a thousand do? A million. And so they try to make the whole world believe in one idea, one thought, make us safe. The first civilization sent thousands of pieces of Eden into space, but there was no way to direct the beam, to control the artifacts, to control the people, and so they abandoned the projects in pursuit of something else, something better. And that is basically how the artifact landed on the moon. It does make me question what will happen to all the, all the other artifacts up there in space. Just imagine one drops down to the earth one day and lands in someone's backyard with a big bang. That could cause problems and bring the media involved. I know this was a short video but I just wanted to bring it up because it's a nice little detail that never gets brought up ever again. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day or night wherever you are.